Hey, good Tuesday morning, everybody. It's Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich. We've got an update on the tropics because we've got three systems we're keeping an eye on. Actually, there's probably a couple more that we got to keep an eye on coming off the coast of Africa, but really three main systems um, that I'm watching this morning. And they're kind of lined up across the Atlantic. We've got right here, this is Renee. This is Paulette. And then we've got this mess of a tropical wave upper trough, which is really close to us. Um, that does have a small potential to develop. So we'll, we'll get to that in, in a second, but let's start from the farthest to the closest. So we'll go with the farthest one away right now. And that one is going to be, uh, Renee. Renee is way out here in the Eastern Atlantic, probably going to become a hurricane. And again, this one probably is the least threat. And I know it, it is the least threat because it's going to recurve. It might fester out here for a while, but that probably has almost no chance at all of getting to the U.S. So we're not really concerned about that system at all. The next system is going to be Paulette. Now, Paulette, a little more interesting, weak system, tropical storm the whole time. It could get close to the East Coast, but it's still mainly forecast to stay offshore. But this is one we should probably pay attention to a little closer because there has been some trend for it to get a little closer to the East Coast. Nothing really brings it to the East Coast yet, but there has been a, a trend to shift off towards the West. And I'll talk more about that in a minute. Most immediate threat is this tropical disturbance. This is 94L. Now, it's close to us. It's got a 40% chance of development. The chances overall of development are pretty low with this system, um, and it probably, at the very worst case scenario, could get up to a tropical storm, but maybe just a tropical depression, and it probably doesn't matter because the impacts overall are rain regardless, because if this thing develops or not develops, there's a whole bunch of moisture here that's going to be heading our way. In fact, let me show you the satellite image. So where is this thing? Well, that's why it's so hard. There seems to be a little swirl right there. But all the clouds are here, and then there's a bunch of moisture here. So there's just kind of a general area of tropical messiness off the Carolina coast. And um, that's why it's probably not going to organize very well. Um, overall, the ingredients there aren't very conducive for a strengthening system. But it could consolidate into a low-level circulation, be a tropical depression or storm. And most likely, the biggest impact would be rain. Now, you look at the intensity forecast. The guidance isn't very bullish on this. In fact, almost all of the guidance doesn't show it making it to a tropical storm, except for some of the statistical guidance, and even that, it's very weak. So this is why, even though it's close to us, we're not overly concerned with the system. But again, probably our biggest issue with this is going to be rainfall, because all of this moisture is going to be moving towards the coast, and eventually we're going to see some rainfall there. So let me show you the spaghetti plots for everything here. I kind of got them all lined up here. So you could see uh, Renee out here recurving. Paulette, the reason we need to pay attention, um, there is some signs that it could get closer to Bermuda maybe and make a turn. Some of the guidance is here. So there's a much bigger split with Paulette. And that's why I want to keep an eye on Paulette just in case because that could get close to us eventually. And then there's our invest area. You could see all of the, all the you know, guidance taking it somewhere near the Carolina coast over the next couple of days. And obviously rainfall would be our biggest threat from that system. Let me show you uh, some of the guidance here from the ensembles. This is the existing storm. So here's Paulette and Renee. Notice the big spread in Paulette and why we got to keep an eye on it. There's a huge spread here all the way almost to the East Coast, but that's a pretty big spread. So that's a little bit of uncertainty there in the long range and why I would be paying attention to Paulette. Renee, less of an issue. This is going to recurve. It's just got too many opportunities to do that. Uh, here's the same look at the GFS ensembles. GFS is even further offshore, but you can see overall, that's pretty good consensus of everything staying offshore. But Paulette, keep an eye. Let's go to our future system, which could be our, our next tropical depression. That's a look at the GFS, everything taking it towards the coast. And then you could see European is not gung-ho on that. In fact, it's developing the next tropical wave coming off the coast of Africa. So not a lot of confidence that we're going to see something develop. Now, what's steering all this? Our good old friend, the big uh, high over the Atlantic. But there's a difference this go around. There's a weakness here in the center of the ridge in the middle of the Atlantic. So over time, you see the system kind of try to move in between those two and go up into that weakness. So there's a ridge that tries to build here and a main center here, but there's a weakness right there. And you can watch over time, this is our, our poly Paulette right there, moving back towards the northwest. And then notice how the ridge breaks down and a trough digs in and then it starts to recurve and move out. So Paulette could get close to the United States. That's why I want to keep an eye on Paulette just in case, um, because it's definitely going to have the opportunity to get closer. And then you can see our next system's developing down here 
long range. You notice how the European was not gung-ho with our wave off the coast. And you see that system, this is late next week. This is the 18th, but um, that's a system to keep an eye on because there'll be a ridge here and the possibility this could go further west. So, the, you know, we're the peak of the season. This is certainly the time of year we need to be paying attention closely. So real quick recap, there is Renee and the track. There is Paulette and the track. And then here's our mess um, invest area. Let's just call it a tropical wave because that's what it is. And the center is probably somewhere in there. If I turn on the guidance, and I'm going to turn on the consensus guidance, you could see that um, the, the, the con consensus guidance does develop this into a tropical depression and possibly a tropical storm week one um, as it approaches the Carolina coast here. And I'll put the time on there. So that would be Thursday morning. Very weak system, barely a tropical storm. So uh, again, the, the impact from this isn't so much about wind and surge. It's probably going to be rainfall. And I think that's what I would be watching for in the Carolinas, because no matter if that thing develops or not, look at all the rain that's going to develop on the Carolina coast uh, going through this this week into early next week. Um, so a lot of tropical moisture could be in place here, and you can see how wet it is. And if some of that makes it to the western Carolinas, the mountains could see some. So for us, the big thing we'll be watching with that both of those systems um, and primarily, I would say, is going to be this system is going to be some heavy rain coming in. These two systems, not so much of a concern, but keep an eye on Paulette. Long range, it might be out there for a while and something to keep an eye on. Of course, I'll have updates throughout the next couple of days and into next week. The good news is stay weather aware. Nothing's going to sneak up on us. Just remember, this time of year, you need to pay attention to the weather daily because we can see things start to develop out there with almost any tropical wave coming across the Atlantic.